Oh, look who it is. You came back. <laughs> now my fragile little heart can start healing again now that you're here. I miss seeing that cute face sitting here at the bar. I hope you didn't come back just for my amazing drinks, but for the lovely conversation as well. Regardless, you just made my night a bit better, just like last time you were here. Come sit. Yes, right here at the bar like before. There we go. Much better now. And once again, I'm all yours. <laughs> well, today has been particularly rather slow. So, I'm just aching for some company to talk to. And bless my heart, one of my favorite cuties shows up. You. <laughs> so, please tell me, what have you been up to? Seems like ages ago since I've seen you. Oh, nothing too interesting? Well, we'll just have to change that then. <laughs> I'm even more determined now to make your day or night. <laughs> but first, let me make you a drink at least. Again, anything you want can be non-alcoholic, including me, but that's not until later. <laughs> mm, our specials are still left over from Valentine's Day though. I was a fan of our love potion number nine, Martini, which was pretty much a triple berry pomegranate martini with vodka. <laughs> very sweet, but also very tart in the back of the tongue. <laughs> mm, uh, then again, I just love anything with pomegranates though. <laughs> I did take notice that a lot of people have been trying our coffee liqueur drinks as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, I did like them also when I had the chance to try them. You can pretty much mix any kind of liqueur you want besides the most popular kinds of liqueur that you see that go with coffees. If you're looking for something with a little more kick, you can always spike it with some bourbon, whiskey, even rum if you want, which have always been one of my favorites. We even decorated with a few of those heart-shaped candy sprinkles for Valentine's Day around the rim of the mugs and glasses. Very cute, I might add. <laughs> but yes, I know, the dreaded holiday who are all single, dread the most, and I, myself, was one of those many people. And better yet, yes, I was working here at the Royal Flush just as all the lovey dovey couples came into. Don't get me wrong, I'm a girl after all, I'm a sucker for love and romance, but a small part of me was a little bitter that I couldn't call anyone my valentine. Unless you count the drink I made for myself later that night when my shift was over. Aw, <laughs> uh, what? Getting a little jealous of my glass, maybe? <laughs> Just because it was so close to touching my lips? <laughs> and you weren't? Well, oh, I think you might have to change that soon. <laughs> oh, love, not to worry. I'm just teasing. No need to rush yourself. Remember, I like to savor the taste. But that blush across your face is making it rather tempting. And I have to admit, very hard to resist. Let me make your drink for you first, though, <laughs> before I get too ahead of myself. So, anything that catches your eye? Again, besides me. 
All right, you got it. Here you go, sweet stuff. Is it to your liking? And please let me know if there's anything I can get for you. A water, maybe some soda, my phone number. Just tell me and I'll be sure to make it possible. <laughs> I always try to provide for my lovely customers. But of course, <laughs> I miss seeing you here at my bar. I felt so lonely since you left me last time. I was starting to think you'd forgotten all about me. Oh, who could forget about you? Especially a cutie like you? <laughs> Plus, you're interesting enough to hold a conversation with. How can I forget you? Most people try to hit me up with a, Hey, beautiful. And expect me to jump right over this bar and follow them home. <laughs> But there's no real fun doing it that way, don't you think? I like the dance. The back and forth of flirtation. <laughs> and besides, I've had my eye on someone here at the bar. <laughs> well, ever since I had the pleasure of meeting them the last time. Even if it was for only one drink. Well, two now. <laughs> oh, you think you can figure out who? Well then, you're welcome to guess. But, bet that cute smile of yours, and I'll give you another clue on who it might be. That is, if you're not 100% sure already. Oh, you want a clue? Alright. I've been flirting with them ever since I saw them, and talking to them right now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, you're soon becoming one of my favorite regulars if you keep coming back here like this. And especially if you keep blushing like that. Uh, don't be shy now. I find it absolutely adorable. I'm actually holding myself back here. What I mean is... Uh, let me put it this way. I love this job. For many reasons. The atmosphere, the wonderful customers, the drinks, and most importantly, how it keeps my hands busy. And that keeps me out of trouble. If I don't pay attention, sometimes they just go wherever they want. And who knows what trouble they'll get into just wandering around. Especially when someone as cute as you is in my presence. Plus, I think there's some kind of rule that I'm not allowed to touch my customers. <laughs> I don't know, but I can already hear my manager scolding me for it already, if there is. <laughs> so, if I were to touch you, it will have to be on my own time. Like, maybe Saturday, when I'm off. Hmm, that sound good to you? Great. Give me your phone, so I can put my number in it. There we go, Ellie, with a heart at the end, so you know it's me. Promise you won't lose it, or take forever to use it. Good, I look forward to it. <laughs> Don't be gone too long. Bye for now. <laughs>